What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Media. So, Jeff T. the Clown, I'll put a link to this pathetic article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. Jeff T. the Clown says that Michael Jackson is overrated. Say, so cannot really sing. Um, and this is the, the trend in today's world, man. Just say whatever you think is going to get traction. Disrespect your culture. Because um, you know damn well you're never going to disrespect other people's culture. Um, that's, the, that's the people. That's, this is the current generation. They will disrespect their culture to the fullest. Because they're full of such self-hatred. They're taught this. But they won't dare say anything negative about Taylor Swift. They won't dare say anything negative about, you know what I'm saying, a share. You know, they won't say anything negative about, you know, a Katy Perry. But they'll disrespect Beyonce. They'll disrespect Michael Jackson. They'll disrespect all these people constantly. Look, you don't have to always praise someone who, you know what I'm saying, we all title our opinions, but when it's a, a constant pattern of this. So, Jeff Teague says on his podcast about Drake and MJ, I want to play the audio, but I'm having some connectivity issues right now. They damn near sing on the same level. Michael Jackson could not sing. Y'all going to sit here and tell me Michael Jackson can sing. When he got past ABC one two three, well, that nigga started turning white. Lord have mercy. Then he said something about uh. He said something else. Michael Jackson cannot sing, bro. I'm not clickbait. I'm not trying to be, but I'm being for real. Y'all gonna sit here and tell me that shit sound good, bro. Yeah, um... This, this, this is sad, man. I'm not even gonna try to defend Michael Jackson, because he don't need to be defended. You know, um... But this is the current sorry generation. Jeff Teague was a was a, a was an underachiever in the NBA. He was a loser. He never won anything. Uh, I don't care how much money he made. He was a loser. Um, he's ignorant. And um, But because he played in the NBA, that's going to give him a platform to spew ignorant, stupid nonsense like this. And this is the new trend. You know, people say ignorant things. Matter of fact, <clears throat> it appear, it, it, it's occurring to me that the more ignorant and stupid you act, in today's culture, the more attention and fans you get, the more ignorant acting you are, whether you are get your snot box rocked clown or Charleston White, if the more ignorant you act, the more popular you get. But if you conduct yourself with some common sense, somehow that makes you suspect now. If you talk with some intelligence that makes you less black now I have never seen anything like that before in my life we have regressed as a people I'm sorry if you don't like what I'm saying this is my true belief this is my true beliefs we are regressing we're in a danger danger zone man we are in a danger zone and we're being distracted by nonsense um you know, I guess you could say we all contribute to it because I really want to get on here talking about other stuff that's more important, but, you know, people don't want to hear that. But, I mean, th th this this is bothering me because I know Jeff Teague will not get on his show and disrespect, you know what I'm saying, a Taylor Swift. He wouldn't disrespect a, a Katy Perry. He wouldn't disrespect... You know, a legend like Cher. He wouldn't do that. But he'll disrespect, I guarantee you, if given, if he gets traction from this, he'll disrespect a Beyonce. He'll disrespect a Michael Jackson. He'll disrespect, um, 
you know, uh, uh, a Luther Vandross. He'll do it all day. This is the clown mentality of these dudes today, man. These people today, man. You know what I'm saying? So, 